Block my driveway. I don't know where your car went. This just happened. In fact I am still a little pumped of adrenaline off such a little act, what a rush. So I live on a street connected to an elementary school. Other residents including myself have issues on weekdays around 3.30pm that parents will be parked all along our street to go pick up their kids from the school at the end of it. There is no problem with that as I expect it. We have a guy named Terry on our street. Terry had left all the neighbors a business card saying that if ANY people block their driveway to call him immediately, and he would tow then right away. He is basically on standby from 2.0 p.m. 4.0 p.m. in our neighborhood. I never had a chance to use this card yet. The only issue for me is that I finish work at 2.0 p.m. and I go get groceries and usually end up home around 3.30 p.m. A few times now I have come home to park in my driveway and there is a vehicle completely blocking me. AKA instead of parking on the curb, they will park at the end of my driveway and make it unable for me to park in. So I have to ask the owners to move. Today specifically, there was an old Dodge minivan block my driveway. When I got out of my car to knock on the tinted window I realized no one was inside. I thought maybe they are napping in the back while they wait well nope. No one was in the vehicle. I couldn't get into my driveway. This is specifically annoying because the curb behind and in front of him were both vacant maybe they weren't vacant when he parked there. So I got the card out of my glove compartment and called Terry. I gave him my house number and in less than five minutes he had that bad boy towed out of there. So what happened next? I decided to start cleaning my car on my driveway until the owner came by. My first plan was to tell the owner that he she had blocked the driveway and I had it towed. But as I was outside cleaning my car it's 22 degree outside in November. Don't ask how Canadian weather works. I saw him coming back with his son. He looked incredibly confused as I was cleaning my car. I noticed him and didn't say anything as he was on his phone. So he actually came to me really upset. He said hey PAL, have you seen my van, are you that much of a fucking asshole to call it for a tow when I was gone three minutes? So my plan changed. I said wait, what van? And I decided to play dumb. Well about an hour later he rang my doorbell and asked for details. I told him to fuck off. And came here to write this. Terry is back in his driveway with his tow truck though and I plan on giving him a six pack of beer for helping me. TLDR some rando parked his van to block my driveway, I got it towed and played like I had never seen it. I used to pay for premium parking at my apartments which reserved the spot specifically for my apartment some tow truck asshole came to hook up our car. If it wasn't for my husband hearing a familiar sound I couldn't recognize, we would have got wrongfully towed. Had to argue with the guy everything. Middle of the night calling cops over stupid shit like that. After we paid for the top parking package they offered unbelievable. 3 minutes, re -it. It gaff if you'll park there for 30 seconds or 3 hours. You don't block someone's driveway. That is rude as fuck. Glad you got your petty revenge OP. I hope it was delicious. Great execution and good lad Terry. The entitlement other people have and the blatant disregard for others deserves some payback. Terry is the man. I hope you have cameras. If not, please do. Terry broke the minivan owner's plastic heart, hopefully lesson learned, the expensive way. Tow fee approx $225. Plastic heart broken, free. Petty revenge level, master. Good for you, but I would go the extra step and contact the school's principal. Tell them parents picking up their kids are blocking residents' driveways and to send home a reminder that if they block residents, they may be towed. It's a thrill, isn't it? When I lived in a college town back east, in a house divided into apartments, I was the designated tow caller for cars that parked blocking our driveway. I only called on cars that were there for a while two minutes to drop off DoorDash was obs no big deal and I called at least once a month. It took two tows for a particularly entitled pickup driver who lived next door to learn never to do that again. 
I have a co-worker who lives near a school who can never get into her driveway if she leaves work past a certain point, only a couple of minutes within the time her shift ends. She's tried I don't know how many ways to get the school and parents not to block her property so she can go home and access her driveway to no avail. They will sit in their car and still refuse to move so she can get in her driveway. Some of them arrive so early before the school lets out they even block the buses from being able to get into their loading zone on the school's property. Same thing happened to me, jeep with a soft top parked in front of my driveway. I unzipped the window, reached in and popped it in neutral, hooked my truck and a strap to it and towed it out in a field on other side of my house. Minutes later a guy that was next door pounded on my door, asking about his jeep etc etc, I told him I don't know. Maybe it popped out of gear and rolled away face with tears of joy. About 20 minutes later cops on my door accusing me of breaking into his vehicle, I said I didn't break in, I unzipped the window. Even the cop laughed and left. OP, you need cameras. 1. For protection. 2. For videoing the reactions. I can understand why you got a high off of this Terry Toe. It gave me great pleasure to read it. I doubt the care was parked there for just a few minutes. I've seen firsthand what parents do and it's sickening. Every day people's driveways gets blocked but the most memorable parents was someone who drove into someone's driveway to unload their kids. Instead of reversing out, he drove in and made his three-point turn in the owner's front area. LOL well played. I wonder if Terry specifically moved into a house in that neighborhood just so he could do this ha ha. I'm not your pal, buddy. Same problem on my mom's road. There's a Catholic school on it. The parents could park in the giant church lot, but nope. They wrap around six freaking blocks all over the neighborhood. Damn nightmare over there every freaking day. I'll never understand entitled asshats like this. I'm old as shit and in all my years I have never once found it necessary to block someone else's driveway or block someone in or just park like a fucking idiot in general. If he just had T.O., then he should have left a note saying it would only be a few minutes and begging for forgiveness. Hope he learned a lesson. The first house we lived in was across the back lane from an elementary school. We would have parents regularly park I in our driveway and sometimes even O in our lawn when picking up children. We tried being nice about it and went into the school office to ask if they say something send a note to parents telling them not to park in the driveways on the other side, of the lane. We were told no as it's not their problem. Nice, I like three house from a school entrance, and I decided to move area so I expect busy streets at those times lockdown was heaven due to WFH now we sold one car, and have space on our drive. So now I had to puck up a parking fee sign to stop parents using the space, and they always would say it's just five minutes it's never five minutes. Ever. Our neighbors across the street had someone straight up park in their driveway. We don't live anywhere near an elementary school. I saw the car but didn't know if they had a visitor or whatever so I minded my business. A few hours later the wife knocked on my door wondering if I had seen who parked the car there. I told her I didn't but it had been there for a few hours. Right as the tow truck pulled up that the lady magically appeared to get her car. Face with tears of joy. My husband and I both thought that lady was probably at someone's house she shouldn't have been at and didn't want to be seen there. Lolol thanks for the giggle. I do school pickups and drop-offs, never dreaming of parking in someone's driveway, however, that is what I would expect if I was silly enough to do so. Huh, that's odd I've only been cleaning my car here for five minutes. $10 bike lock through one wheel. $50 for the key. Thus makes my petty heart happy. This is amazing. I'm imagining the owner of the van walking home literally right now. That is totally awesome. I don't really understand why people think they are entitled to park wherever they want. I had a similar situation back where I used to live. I swear I must have helped the police make their month ticket quota.